Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm sitting in a 95 Camaro and uh, the problem that I'm having with this one is we believe that the immobilizer that's in the car is not talking to the resistor that's in the key. So I'm we'll, um, just going to go through the steps and what we're doing just to try to, to bypass all of that. Turn it. We can't start the car. Security light keeps flashing. My foot's on the brake. It should let me start the car, but it's not letting me start the car. So you can go through, sometimes you can reset the system and you can follow the instructions that are in your book, which basically consists of turning the key and I think holding the brake. And you can follow the instructions in the book and it'll show you how to reset this. But what we think is happening is that the electrical contacts that are on the key are keeping the key from having that good contact with the, uh, the contacts that are inside the lock cylinder. So the car's immobilizer would allow the car to start. Um, if the contacts aren't working or aren't connecting right to this key, then what you would, the problem that you would have is the resistance values go up higher because there's not a good connection. So it's basically thinking that the wrong key is in is in the ignition. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to bypass the resistance value that's on this key, um, and this contact, and this contact. If you connect them, you can. We'll show that a little bit later. The resistance value that it shows whenever you uh, you, when you probe this end and this end with a multimeter, it shows you the, res the resistance value of the key. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop that back. Instead of going through the key, we're just going to wire in a resistor basically to bypass the key so that we can use this same key and um, start the car with a resistor wired in. All right, so measuring the resistance of the key, there's two little metal prongs on either side of the key in the middle of that little rubber um, stopper thing. And when you measure it, you look at the resistance. So this is showing, so I have it on the 20,000 setting. So that's 2,000, I can see that without a glare. 2.36, which is 2,000, which is 12, 2,360, which is within the range that, uh, that we need in order to start the car. The resistance the key needs to be at in order to start the car. We have a whole box of resistors here that we're actually looking for um, just the right resistance. So I'm basically just measuring with my multimeter uh, this end versus this end on whatever setting. And also just going by this chart here. You can find these charts online. First, second color band, third color band, fourth color band, and what all of those mean. They're basically, they're not that complicated. So if it was uh, um, red, red, brown, that would be 2200. And then five, if it's gold on the fourth band, then it'll be... 5% tolerance. Silver on the fourth band would be 10%. Um, and there's not a polarity doesn't matter with uh, with resistors. They're the same resistance from uh, either side measured. If one side, if you think of one side being positive and one side being negative, or flipping that around, so it doesn't matter. And then the resistors that we wired together, since we couldn't find one that was specifically uh, the exact resistance that we needed, um, you can check the color band charts that are in the description of this video. But basically, instead of using one resistor, we use two resistors and these little color bands that are that are on it. If you can see that detail in the video, these little color bands say what specifically the resistance is on this resistor and this resistor. So with two of them wired, this is in series. So with two resistors wired in series, you basically get the combined total of both of those resistors, and that is within the tolerance. So this is close. It's 2.43. Um, so we're going to see if this works. It's really close to the resistance of the key, so it should be what we uh, what we need in order to start the car. So to disconnect that, I just grabbed a um, a small flathead screwdriver and just pried up on the edge, just so that little plastic prong would clear this metal flap that that closes to lock it down. And once that's up, you can pull this out, and that's the connector. This is the one that loops back. You can check your service manual, wire diagrams. Um, try not to use a multimeter to test this connector because if you do, there's a chance that you can actually fry your um, immobilizer or the car's ECU, wherever those wires go back to. So um, try not to use a multimeter. And just to be safe, we've disconnected the, uh, the airbag system, which is these, it's this yellow connector right here, and also disconnected the battery, just, to, just as a precautionary measure. All right, so this is the, uh, this is the little device that we made. Um, 
it's not very complicated. The resistors that I showed a second ago, they're in heat shrink tubing. That's what this little black tubing is. Basically, that's it's a little hollow tube that when you heat it up with a lighter or with something else, like a heat gun or whatever, it shrinks down and it just provides that uh, a little layer of protection because you, you have to have this protected because if you have the resistors here and here and then you have uh, the wires touch over here, it's you basically have uh, that no resistance anymore because the wires are connecting down here when they should be completely separated. So we have the heat shrink tubing and uh, this is the this is the female connector and then you have the male connector there and this is the connector that's out of the uh, out of the car so we basically just plug this in and we're just going to see if this works um, hopefully hopefully it does hopefully it does and we're golden um, ideally if it does then the car should start right up and this takes the place of the resistor in the key and the resistor is completely bypassed there's no need to even have a resistor in the key anymore so you can have whatever key with whatever other resistance or no resistance and use that one as long as the uh, little mountains and valleys all line up. And I should mention this really quick. Uh, if you had something like this, which we, we found this after we made the resistor, but this is a trim pot. It's basically a potentiometer which it, it has uh, varying values of resistance and if you get one with the right range, you can spin it and you can adjust it instead of looking through boxes and boxes of resistors like we had to do and we found these um, after the fact but um, this would be more for like a temporary fix not temporary but like a while you're trying to find the resistance value that you need um, which I have those uh, listed down in the description for the different the different keys that are made for the Camaro uh, they're down in the description showing which uh, which resistance values are in what keys and what the range is that's needed for that resistance value Right. Here's our connector that we made. We're plugging it in right here. Yeah. Uh, so this is plugged in. This is plugged in. And uh, we're going to try and start the car. Yeah. Alright, I still have the airbags disconnected just, just, just because. Uh, we'll plug those back in later. But let's see if this works. Turn the key. So the security light is on. It's not flashing anymore. And now it just cleared, so the security light's not flashing. And the car starts. So, so that's it. Um, you have the key completely bypassed because these were the wires that were going to the key. And now they're cut. This resistor is providing the resistance that the key used to provide. And it's not the exact resistance that the key is, but it's still within that, that tolerable range. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, informative. So check out other videos on electronic circuitry if you want to. Um, but yeah, so thanks a lot for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, leave suggested ideas for other videos, and God bless. Thanks a lot.